Hi, it's me again with Corel Raw Tips and Tricks. And somebody was you know, sending me a picture. I've already deleted it because I changed, had to change uh, uh, screens because I, I had e-cuts up to make this. And I made this with e-cuts. And then I'm going to take this picture of this young man. I made it too big. I'm going to hit P, put it in the center of the page. Maybe make it a little bit bigger and hit P. So now all my puzzle is inside there. And the question the person was having, he wanted like some of the pieces missing and some of the pieces showing the color. And then show, then some of the pieces, like they were going to be brown, like the back side of the puzzle. So all I did was select both those and intersect it. You want to have your nudge factor set on pretty big. Uh, that's 22 inches. We're going to set our nudge factor on like 30. And we're going to grab our puzzle and, and then grab this. So we don't really even need the puzzle anymore, but I just like keeping it. Then let's nudge it back and nudge this a little bit closer. So now we have puzzle pieces that are just barely separated. But this is what I think he wants because they want to print this on a t-shirt like it's a puzzle halfway done. So we're going to select that, go to object, group and ungroup it. Now we have individual puzzle pieces and you know, you could take them, you know, don't take away some of them. Then you could rotate them. Uh, whoop, you don't want to make them smaller, but you could rotate them like they're just around the object, you know, without any rhyme or reason. And that's not a good example because it's a little bit darker uh, than the other picture, but he wanted some of them that would look like the puzzle pieces were flipped upside down. Well, one way you could do that, and I think the safest way to do it, would be able to nudge something out of the way. So this picture is only now like 25. Oh, wow, it's still 25 inches big. Nudge that out of the way, and then take your Smart Fill tool and put it on a brown like the back of the cardboard would be and fill that in and then nudge it over and take away the outline and then you could move it wherever you wanted. Uh, it doesn't have to be actually a piece of the puzzle. You know, they're, not, they're gonna print those on a shirt. So it just, he wants some pieces uh, where they look like they're just uh, sprung around. You cannot just take this and maybe you can make a, nope. It's a puzzle piece, so you can't really do anything with it. So if we wanted to do one more, we could nudge that out of the way, take the Smart Fill tool on that same color, and then you don't have to nudge it. You could actually just move it over, but I would take the outline away and then maybe reduce that one or rotate that one. And you could still use this one because now it's behind the page, so it's not going to work, but you could always go to Object, Order, front of page and then that piece will be back on front. So that would make, you know, then your artistic ability would be kind of play into it. Uh, what you think it should look like. That's pretty cute on a t-shirt. Anyway, hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.